what? This has been on this whole time. What the heck's going on? Didn't realize that. Whoopsie doodle. Well, hello, all of my lovely YouTube people. I hope you're all doing well today. I am on my way to the second swap meet of the year. It's actually one being put on by one of the Christian motorcycle groups here. They're actually a pretty big group in Canada. I don't know if they exist in the United States or not, but they're called the Bond Slaves. So they put this on every year. They've been doing it for a few years. It's called the Swapapalooza. I'm not looking for anything too crazy today. Always keeping my eyes out for something cool. But today I'm just looking for a couple caps. I need an oil cap and a gas cap for my Sportster as well as a top triple tree for a Springer front end. Um, but first I'm gonna get a tea. Good old Tim Hortons tea. They do kind of look like the Wawa cups a little bit, I noticed. Anyways, I've got my tea now and it is time to just head on over to the swap meet. Yeah, the things I'm looking for today are pretty small, but you just never know when you're gonna come across something cool that you don't need, but you realize that you actually probably need because it's too cool not to get. And we all know what that's like. And then you don't wanna have to pass up one of those two cool things that you don't actually need, but you realize that you need. <laughs> Keeping it uh, pretty limited though. I'm not gonna be going crazy buying a bunch of stuff that I don't need. Cause like we're not rich guys. We're just broke bikers who end up needing to spend all of their money on their motorcycle things. All right, guys, so I'm here. I just hopped out of my truck and walked over there real quick, made sure it's okay that I have a camera here because it's kind of a club heavy event. So you just never know. So I just wanted to double check and make sure it was all right. I'm gonna be filming for my YouTube. They said it's cool as long as I don't go inside the clubhouse with the camera. And I'm gonna go see if I can hang one of these up in the clubhouse. Might as well rep, repping for my peeps, guys. And they've got a cop here taking photos and bugging people for their licenses and stuff. So that kind of makes me worried about my bike because my bike is definitely a heat score. <laughs> it's so weird that they just have a cop hanging out here taking pictures of everyone. They got a couple of them actually. <laughs> oh my gosh. Makes me not want to bring my bike here. All right, let's go and look for some parts. A few things, but I don't really see what I'm looking for here, so. Dan doesn't have it here, he's got it. Did you like, oh yeah, did you like the swap meet video? Yeah, I love that shirt I got from you guys. Yeah, like, yeah, so, yeah. nice little seat here. 80 bucks. 80 bucks. Would you take 60 on it? You do 60 right now? I'd have to go and grab more cash. You want me to hang on up? Yeah, yeah, I'll go grab some. I'll just go to the bank machine. Right, nice seat. We all knew Ubaka. No way. How do you regulate what you're going to give yourself? You can't push it. Good thing to support. Hmm. Good. I just took it out for. I just. Yeah. And um I ordered dress to get. Pardon? My flywheel, that's a critical project and I'm trying to not buy anything right now. Yeah. Uh, like a vintage. What is this? Uh, yeah, Japanese and some oh, okay. also that's like the crossover British American back like oh. Would be 50s kind of British American. Yeah. Right. You have any 45 parts? A Harley? Harley 45? No. No, not nothing that old. Just a few little odds and ends of it. Okay. <laughs> old Ironhead head or rocker box, I should say. Kicker. <laughs> My cameras are not like in the heat here. I did find myself an oil cap though, and then um, these guys have a whole bunch of parts in the trailer here. So I'm gonna poke around a little bit, see what I can find. Don't need a derby cover. I don't need one of those either. I do need a top 
tree. Four Springer. I don't need any of those. Got lots of those. It's kind of organized ish. My camera does not want to stay on, which really sucks, but I think I'm going to go and uh, grab my bike soon. There's a lot of bikes down here, and it's making me feel like I'm left out not having my bike down here. last year better turnout for bikes anyway so it's almost wrong that I don't have my bike here what I'm gonna do is go grab my bike and uh, hopefully not get in trouble for not having um, lights and all that stuff on it I think when they get cops to come and do these kind of events, they always get like the worst kind of cops too. And I don't mean like that they're bad cops or anything like that, but the kind of cops who will just not let you get away with anything. Anyway, I got my cash. I'm going to go grab my seat. I didn't know they were going to have live music here. I did. <laughs> I'm a woman of my word. Right, got my seat. My camera keeps dying because of the heat. And that is not sweet. Man, I'm such a nerd. Anyway, I like this seat. It's going to be for one of my sportster projects. <sighs> if I learned how to talk, maybe. Anyway, I couldn't pass it up. So, uh, now I'm going to go get my bike. And... Yeah, get my camera a break from the heat. Well, that's a VIP parking if you ask me. Right, I'm back in this trailer full of parts looking for a gas cap. And who would have known that a sports or gas cap would be so hard to find? But apparently they are not that easy to find. So there's so much stuff here. I don't even really know where to begin. See nothing in there. Hmm. I don't know if I need that. <laughs> well, I'm not finding what I need. Oh, I found like a few other things though, so that was pretty good. Just need a gas cap. Luckily I don't need it today. Let's see. Oh you did? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Fits too. Come on though. My one you want. Does that fit? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, you know, you can yeah, have a look. Mm. Uh, it's a triple E, I believe. Oh. It's made in the late 80s, early 90s. Hmm. Do I want it? Do you know, you don't know what this is actually off of, do you? I do not. Don't know if I want it for my shovel head. Bond slaves. Swap me. Pack up time. 
Everybody's packing up. That's badass. Thanks. Yeah, it's my favorite of my bikes. So I guess you guys are getting a little bit of everything in this video. A little bit of riding, a little bit of swap meet. So let's hit the road, uh, shall we? Go this way. out of the town for a bit. Not totally out of town, but just out of the traffic-y part of town. Go up this way a little bit. Alright. Well, guys, I hope you are all... I don't even know where my phone is right now. over and make sure I didn't lose it. Dang it. Okay, we're good to go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go for a bit of a ride, shall we? in a bad little swap meet. I mean, I guess it's probably always a good swap meet if you get what you need. So this is not my first ride of the year, but it's my first ride of the year with you guys. I did go on a little ride yesterday that I filmed, but it didn't turn out because so I was kind of trying to test out my mics, and um, yeah, the audio just didn't work out. I thought I might be able to do a different setup that didn't involve so many wires, and I could still have like an open face helmet because I'm, I don't plan on going on a full face helmet anytime soon or ever. So trying to get it set up so that I don't have so many wires connecting my camera to my mic because that just kind of opens the door to failure. The more connections you end up having, the more chances you have of actually like having a connection fail and then having no audio at all. And everything is just kind of plugged into multiple connections shoved into a pocket in my vest and it's not the most ideal situation. So what I would like to get is a wireless headboard mic that I can plug into my camera. So the same idea as like these road wireless mics but something that I can actually put on my head and wear with my open face helmet and then just ride around and not have like 17 connections going all over the place. So that's something I've been looking into lately because it can just get real frustrating when you like get everything set up and you get going and you test your mics and everything like that but then something gets bumped or pulled or whatever and then all of a sudden you have no audio and that has happened to me enough times and sometimes it'll be like the dumbest little thing that'll make it so that all of a sudden I have no audio. Anyway guys, I've never ridden down this road with you guys before. This road is called Old Vernon Road, I believe, and it kind of just goes up on the highway. I took the slingshot actually down this road coming the other direction. So it connects onto the highway. It's kind of a little back road if you want to skip all the traffic between Kelowna and um, I don't think it go It doesn't go to Vernon. It kind of comes out like right away before Vernon actually. But yeah, it's a nice little back road. I'm just happy to 
be riding my bike in the warm weather. It's nice not having to put chaps or anything on just to stay warm. I don't look down on the people that dress properly, of course, because you just never know what's going to happen out there on the road. But you really got to just keep your eyes peeled and make sure that you um, are careful, right? So I have no idea what's going on here. Oh, it's like a ball game. Be nice if this guy stopped putting his brakes on. Okay, he's getting out of the way. Uh, is he getting out of the way? Trying to find parking? Okay, buddy, I'm gonna pass you, so don't do anything weird. Showing up for the ball game. So I hope that all you guys have been able to get out and enjoy some nice weather. It's definitely warming up here. It's like 20 degrees Celsius today for a high, which I believe is oh, you know, I don't even know what it is, so I'm not even gonna lie. I yeah. <laughs> You can look on the screen, I always put the Fahrenheit conversion there for you guys. And actually, like, being in my bike here, just walking around at that swab meet was not very comfortable, it was pretty hot. Alright, so, I've come up here before, up Spencer Road, to actually go shooting. And, um... Yeah, it's nice up there. They've got like some forestry roads and stuff like that up there. But we're not going to go up there today. We're going to go up this way. It's getting warm enough out that you get the odd bug in the face too. <laughs> Everywhere that I go now, I feel like every bike event that I go to, like this swap meet, there's always somebody there who watches my channel and will come up to me and say hi and like tell me that they like my videos and stuff, which is really cool. It's kind of, it's not really weird I guess anymore, but it's a little different. Like, you know, when you're just a normal person and you're not used to being like, you know, noticed by strangers. So it's a little weird like that, I guess. But uh, it's cool, it's what you want. Whatever is going on here, with this wire, it's just like, right tight. Whatever it's doing is ridiculous. Because I gotta check something out. So 
something on my bike. I gotta check something out on my mic, not on my bike, to make sure that my mic is doing what it needs to be doing here on my camera there. That should be better. The thing that I do not like about Kelowna is when it comes to riding a motorcycle, it is really hard to find roads that are back roads that you can just get away from all of this like concrete jungle type stuff because you have to like literally like ride through the whole city you gotta ride through so much city just to get to a nice back road so that's definitely something that I really don't enjoy Alright, so we're going to go this way. and everything and it's just like uh, Penticton it seemed so easy you could just like go ride for like five minutes and then you'd be out of town on some beautiful orchard road whereas here it's just it's a bigger city so yeah there's not a lot of just nice side roads that you can go down which sucks but I guess that's the way it is. I think I'm gonna have to make it a goal of mine to discover new back roads this summer, as much as I have the time for. There's actually on the other side of town, it's kind of nice over there, but um, yeah, you gotta go through a bunch of town to get to the nice spots. And I definitely would have to look on a map because I just kind of ended up up there one time by accident in my truck in the middle of winter and um, <laughs> it was like, hey, this would be a nice riding road. And I don't exactly remember how to get there now. Road trips are always nice in BC because we do have a lot of just open countryside and forests and all kinds of things like that. like the middle of Kelowna to Lake Country and it's nice because you can skip a big chunk of the highway and traffic and everything so I always take Glenmore if I'm going towards Vernon from Kelowna this road McKinley Road and I don't really I've only ever been up here one time actually this might have been where I went on my last ride of the year last year told me about this road one time actually when I took that slingshot out he was trying to tell me to come up this road and 
and I didn't know where it was when he told me about it originally. But it is a nice road too. And they got this lake up here. Pond, I guess it would be more. This road actually loops around and connects on somewhere else. This would be a nice little out of the way area to live anyway. This is the time of year to discover new roads. Because you can go a little slower without having all the tourist traffic or without it being like 45 degrees Celsius out. And whatever this lake is, I really don't know. But um, it's a nice looking lake. I wonder if they have good beaches. So like it's all these lakes that are just hidden away and Man, it, it's, it's like paradise here, guys. And I always think about what it must have been like for the first people to come around and discover this valley, like the natives. What it must have been like when they, I just imagine them like coming over a hill, you know, just trekking through like these deserty hills and just coming into this area here and just seeing all these beautiful lakes and the trees and everything and just falling in love with it. It really is a beautiful area. know that this road down here does connect and this guy's like right behind me which I do not appreciate at all I think this road connects yes it does beautiful place to be able to live especially these people just right here on the lake whatever lake this is I have no idea I'm gonna guess it's something to do with McKinley like McKinley Lake maybe guy's not behind me anymore. It's beautiful up here. I would love to live in one of these homes. people retire here which why wouldn't you if you can
neighborhoods I always feel a little out of place just riding my bike through because you gotta assume that they probably hardly ever have anyone riding through just randomly for no reason if they don't live here. Well, let's go back this way. for now. I'm not gonna say it's the last ride of the day. Well guys, I can tell you one thing is for sure. I sure am happy that winter is over and riding season is here. I feel like I was waiting forever. Winter always feels like it lasts so long when you're just waiting for it to be over. But it's so good to be riding. I'm just like filled with joy once again i don't know if the rest of you can relate or not i know a lot of you guys like don't even lose out on any riding at all unless it's like raining or something but yeah it feels pretty dang good to be out on my bike again and to be going to swap meets and doing bike stuff again in the winter time it's like i question whether or not i'm even a biker no i don't because i still have lots of bikes that i'm always fixing and working on all the time but yeah, I really am happy that it's riding season again. I hope that you guys enjoyed the first ride along of the year with me and my favorite machine. I'm really looking forward to this season and I hope you guys are too. And like always, if you guys like what you see or if you just like me or even if you don't like me but you like my bikes, then like, comment, subscribe, share, do all those things you guys do that really help me out. And like always, my lovely YouTube people, I will catch you all on the flip side. Peace. Anybody tell you you're the best looking gal here? No one's told me that yet, but now. <laughs> and you ride a shovel head. Yep. Wow. Just love this thing.